Well, we are counting down to Election Day. We are just 13 days away from when voters head to the polls on November 8th for the midterm elections. The first and only debate between Democrat John Fetterman and Republican Mehmet Oz included fiery exchanges on a range of issues, but all eyes were certainly on Fetterman as he continues to recover from a stroke. As he put it last night, his health was the elephant in the room. Some notable leaders commented on Fetterman's performance, and Eyewitness News Harrisburg reporter Seth Kaplan has more on that part of our story. Hi, good night, everybody. John Fetterman's first words, an early sign he might struggle somewhat, and sometimes he did. They they didn't pay the bills, and it got her paid, and it has never been an issue in, in any of the campaign before. It was all about nonprofit. Other times, less so. All he's done is just put a plan up on his website in the last 24 hours. He has no experience. He has never made any attempt to try to address crime during his entire career. Remember, Oz, too, is sometimes on the defensive. I never sold weight loss products as, as described in those commercials. It's a, it's a television show. But more of the post-debate focus was on Fetterman, who had a captioning system to reinforce what he heard during the one-hour debate. We have uh, something like a closed captioning to allow people to do their jobs every day. Including the job of U.S. Senator, Senator Bob Casey says yes. Senator Pat Toomey, who will soon be giving up his Senate seat, wasn't available after the debate to speak with us, but tweeted, Oz is the only viable candidate, adding, quote, it's sad to see John Fetterman struggling so much, he should take more time to allow himself to fully recover. We're outraged over it. Misty Dion, an advocate for people with disabilities, reacting to Toomey's comments. We've seen people with disabilities accomplish many things and pave the path as public servants. If they're not at the table, how do we make sure that we're building inclusive communities? Senators Casey and Toomey had made up their minds before the debate. So two, according to the latest CBS News battleground poll, had nearly all likely voters. So the question is whether anything that happened at the debate will be enough to change any of those minds or to cause a drop in enthusiasm and thus turnout for either of the candidates. In Harrisburg, Seth Kaplan, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Well, the eyes of the nation, meantime, are also on Pennsylvania's race for governor. In a newly released CBS News battleground tracker, Democrat Josh Shapiro is maintaining his lead against Republican Doug Mastriano. It's now at nine points, 54% to 45%. Now, the poll says Shapiro is being helped by high personable favorable ratings, combined with him being seen as more mainstream in his views than Mastriano. And for a closer look at the issues and the candidates, you can check out our voter guide on CBSPhiladelphia.com for everything that you need to know just ahead of Election Day coming up on November 8th.